Okay, and pray for people to experience the Holy Spirit. Now, when we pray for someone to experience the Holy Spirit, first we need to build up a strong relationship with God and turn away from all sins. Sins can bring evil spirit. So first, we ourselves should build up a strong relationship with God and turn away from all sins because God doesn't like sins. And also, sins can bring evil spirit. Therefore, we want to obey God totally and we don't want to give the devil a foothold. And, uh, you know, if a person has evil spirit inside him, when he lay on people, he can pass the evil spirit to other people. Because the evil spirit, they were also created by God. At first, they were angels. And then they fell and they become evil spirit. And so they, uh, they have the same characteristic as the Holy Spirit in a sense of uh, causing people to fall down and, and causing people to shake. But then the, uh, also they can be passed by, touch, uh, hold, by laying hands, but they cannot produce joy and peace and love and repentance to God and faith in God. So the evil spirit also is similar to the Holy Spirit in the sense that it can be passed by a laying hand. So when a person has evil spirit, when he lay hand on someone else, the evil spirit can pass to someone else. Or if someone has serious emotional problem, he should not lay hand on people because it could pass on to other people. Okay, and then we can pray and sing to lead people to believe that God is loving them and help them to love God and and we don't need to shout. So we want to pray when we, when we lead people to experience the Holy Spirit. We want to praise and love God. Now it's very important uh, to have this love for God, to believe that two things, very important, to have a strong love for God and to believe that God is responding, to pray with faith. That means when I, believe, when I pray, I believe, I know that God is responding. God is happy with me. This way it will bring stronger anointing. Now some people think that shouting will bring stronger anointing. Sometimes it could, sometimes it might not. It could just bring emotional response. And you know, it's not shouting that God comes, it's the faith and believe in God. And also knowing that God is happy with us, therefore we have joy. So that way the Holy Spirit will come stronger. Now sometimes when I love God, the people around me can suddenly fall, fall down. When I love God, hallelujah, when we're praying, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And then people can experience joy uh, that the strong, there is a stronger presence of God. So it's very important to know that it's the right relationship with God. It's not just shouting. It's not just pushing people. Now, when we lay hands, people don't push people. It's not showing to people, wow, I have strong power, I push people and they fall down. It's, that is not from God. You know, we don't want to be proud of ourselves and, and to bring glory to ourselves. We don't want to do things for our own glory. So we want to love God and believe that God is loving us and to reach our heart to God. And sometimes I tell people to cry out to God from the heart. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, from the heart. Or let the burdens go away. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, all the burdens go away. Or our spirit flies to God. Lord, I come to you. I fly to you. Oh, I fly to you. Now, it's the spirit. Now, it's, a, it's, some, it's the action of the spirit. It's not action of the mouth. For some people, it's hard to do. It's something that needs to practice. Lord, I love you. I worship you, I adore you, I depend on you. Lord, you're so wonderful, so wonderful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Three, we can lay hand on people. Don't push people. Falling does not help people. Experiencing God helps people. Okay, now if they experience the Holy Spirit and fall down, that's fine. But if they don't experience the Holy Spirit and we push them, that is not a good practice. And it's pride. I've seen many, many pastors. They just push people. Why? Why? It's for their own glory. They want to show people that they have, they have a strong anointing, but people actually can see that. They can see that they are pushing people to fall down. Actually, when I lay on people, usually I, I put my hand on the, to the side or behind them. 
to show that I'm not pushing. I just touch with my fingertips. So I just lay hand on the side or behind in case they fall down and then I can hold them. So it's not to show our own power. It's not our own power, it's God's glory. Now if people fall, then let them fall. And when they fall freely, they can experience the stronger work of God. They can sometimes experience joy suddenly or love or sometimes people go up to heaven when they fall down and they, they didn't die, but they just go to heaven and come back down, down again. And we can ask them if they have experienced the Holy Spirit to help them remember the experience. So they say, if I, oh, I experienced so much love, so much joy, so much power, then we'll say, remember this, remember that you can experience the Holy Spirit like that and continue to pray, continue to love God, continue to worship God and believe that God is happy with you. Then you're filled with the Holy Spirit much more powerfully. Okay, and then experiencing the Holy Spirit can help people in these areas. First, to experience God and His work. So first, that will help our spiritual life that we can experience God and His peace and love and joy and motivation and, and power and change of our life. Hallelujah! And to appreciate God and believe in God. So this way when we experience God, it will help us to appreciate God and believe in God more. So we can, it can help people when we lay in on them, they experience God and His work and then they, they will appreciate God more when they experience the love of God, the joy of the Lord, they, they really like that more and they believe in God more. Now generally, you have to teach them, we have to tell them. You experience the power of God, that means God is coming, God is coming to you. So be thankful to God for that. So be thankful that God is coming to you with power, with joy, with love, with healing. So be thankful for that. When people are thankful, they can experience the Holy Spirit much more. And you experience inner healing and bodily healing. So if they uh, open the heart, they can experience inner healing, that the sadness come out, the pain, the, the inner pain come out, and also body healing. And four, to bring up, to build up love and zeal for God. So help people to love God more, to have zeal for the Lord, and to drive out demons, and to guide people in their lives that they they will receive the guidance how to, to love God, to obey God, to serve God. To receive spiritual gifts and prophetic words. So sometimes people can receive spiritual gifts. When Carlos and Acondia lay hand on me, then I receive this spiritual gift of laying hand on people and also the gift of teaching. The gift of uh, responding to the Holy Spirit, submitting to the Holy Spirit, and wisdom in teaching and, and leading people, helping people spiritually. And eight, to lay hand on people to experience comfort, healing, exorcism, and transformation in life. So the person can experience comfort to the heart, to the life, and healing, and drive out demons, and transformation of the life. And nine, to serve God and raise up people to serve God. So. Now when we pray for people and experience the Holy Spirit, then we tell them, if you love God more, in the future you can lay hands on people and, and they can experience the Holy Spirit also. Do you want to serve God like that? Do you want to serve God with the power of the Holy Spirit? Now I have prayed for people and then they experience the Holy Spirit and then they serve God like that. And then they have more power when they serve God. And so that is one way that we raise up people to serve God. You want to raise up people in your church that you raise up more servants of God, that more people can serve God, and that, that will bring more people into the kingdom of God. That if we just preach the Word of God to them, the Word of God is powerful, but they haven't experienced the work of the Holy Spirit powerfully. But if they experience the, power, uh, the powerful work of God, then they suddenly become zealous for God. They become, you know, a hunger for God. And they really want to serve God and they have the power, the Holy Spirit and spiritual gift and the power from the Holy Spirit and, and all this will help his ministry. So laying hand on people can revive people's spiritual life more 
and also bring spiritual gifts more, to bring power more, to bring results uh, of the ministry more. So I hope that we all will pursue that, but not for our own glory, but for God's glory. So it helps people in many ways that we lay hands on people to help them experience the Holy Spirit. Now to help people experience the Holy Spirit, sometimes not necessarily laying hands. Sometimes even when we lead them to pray or to worship, they can experience the Holy Spirit, which I have, it, uh, it has happened to me many times. When I help people just to love God, to worship God, and then they experience the love of God, the healing of God, the transformation of their life. So it can help people to experience God and His work, and then they will appreciate God and believe in God more, and they can have inner healing and body healing, and then they build up a stronger love and zeal for God and drive out demons from them and guide them in their life, and they receive spiritual gifts and prophetic words. And then also it would uh, help people. We can train people that they can so these people themselves, they lay hand on other people. Point number eight is like this. We lay hand on them, and then they can lay hand on people to experience comfort, healing, exorcism, transformation in life. So they can also, they bring result of the Holy Spirit to other people. And then to serve God, to raise up people to serve God, and raise up people to serve God. How to be filled with the Holy Spirit? First, repent and turn away from all sins. Very important to turn away from all sins. Second, love and follow the Bible. Now some people who experience the Holy Spirit doesn't talk about the Bible. They just talk about experiences. We want to talk about the Bible. We want to teach people the Bible because the Bible is powerful. God's nature is manifested in His Word. God's grace and His wonderful work is manifested in His Word. So the more we believe in God's Word, the more we are changed. And we can hold on to the promises of the Bible. So I hold on to the promise of the Bible and I believe that. I know that. Whenever I pray, God is listening to me. God is responding. God is happy with me and God will bless me. So this is all based on the promises in the Bible. And I know that when I serve God, God is very happy. And believe that God wants to feel us. It's very important that we don't say, Oh God, where are you? Why don't you feel me? But we believe that, yes, the more I open to God, God is already coming to us. When we feel this peace, God is already coming to me. God is already coming to bless me. So whenever, whenever we pray, we say, Lord, I know that you are blessing me. I know that you are with me now. Thank God you are with me now. Thank God, thank God you are with me now. So believe that God wants to fill us and is, is starting to fill us. The more open we are, the more He fills us. And then spend long hours loving God and praying. So long time to hunger for God, to love God, to, to say, God, you're so wonderful. I love you. I adore you. I need you. I hold on to you. I'm so blessed to have you. God, you are so wonderful, so wonderful. And then we want to obey God in every area, especially the Great Commission, the Great Commandment and the Great Commission that we want to uh, love God and love people and preach the gospel and teach people to obey everything that God has taught us and take care of problems in our life. If a person has emotional problem, has sin problem, has a uh, relational problem, then he cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and those sins will block the infilling of the Holy Spirit. So we want to take care of problems. And the laying on of hands by a spirit-filled person uh, uh, and also spirit-filled meetings are helpful. So when we are feel a lay on hand by spirit filled meeting people, people or in a spirit filled meetings, it, it will be helpful. So these are ways that we can keep the uh, strong feeling of the Holy Spirit continually to repent and turn away from all sins, even hidden sins. And especially for some people who hunger for money and for power, we want to put those down. We want to just hunger for God. God will give us what we need. We don't need to fight for money. Actually, God is the provider. But there are so many people, including some pastors, Jesus, Jesus want money. And we follow the Bible, believe and obey the Bible, and believe that. In the prayer, we believe God wants to feel me. So whenever I experience anything, it's from God. 
and spend long time loving God and rejoice in loving God. I, when I come to God, I'm very happy and obey God in every area, especially the great commandment and great commission and to take care of problems in our life and lay hand, being laid hand on by a spirit-filled person or spirit-filled in a spirit-filled meetings. Okay, so now if you have any question, you can send to me about the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to spend some time to pray for you now. Uh, okay, so So hope that we all will come to God and and you know hunger for God. I'm going to lead you in a prayer now. Now, if you have any questions, please send to me, and uh, I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And please stand up and open your heart to God and pay attention to the swaying of the body. Pay attention to how the Holy Spirit sway us and how we can feel the peace and the comfort of God and the love of God and the power of God. So stand up, relax, and open your heart to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Now when we pray, we want to pray in a personal way, not just in shouting, not just in uh, strong words. We don't need strong words. Now we can use strong words, uh, loud words, to express your feelings to God. But it's most important to be from the heart. Lord, I love you. To be more personal, it's like we're talking to our lover, to our wife. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're so wonderful. Now please dedicate your life to God and stand up and relax. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. You're so good. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. God is so wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus in the morning, Jesus at the noon time, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus at the noon time. Jesus, 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 when the sun goes down. Thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. Whenever we come to you, you're very, very happy. Whenever you, we love you, you're very, very happy. Lord, help us, give us the anointing of the Holy Spirit, so that when we pray for people, their life will be transformed. So when we pray for people, they can experience the love of God, then they will be attracted to God. When people experience the work of God, they know that God is real. They know that God is full of love and joy and peace and kindness and power. Then they will be more attracted to God. Lord, first help us to be attracted to you. Thank you, Jesus. We are we're attracted to you. We love you. We adore you. We desire you. We hold on to you. And when we pray like this, you are very, very happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 
Oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, your presence makes me whole, Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, your presence makes me whole, Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, your presence makes me whole.